parenthood as we once knew it has changed a lot since COVID-19 has um, hit the world and our country and our homes. So how can we do parenthood um, and parenting at home during these challenging times? So parenting does not look the same. I think we all know that, we all recognise that. Even if you were a stay-at-home parent, you are now really at home. Yeah. You can't just get out and take your kids to the park because mm. parks are closed. There's no outlet. No. There is no outlet. Yeah. Parenting teens, your teens aren't just going out and socialising as they want to, so it looks different. Mm -hmm. You will likely find uh, there's going to be times when there's going to be huge meltdowns, and that's not even just the children I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the parents are going to melt down. Everybody's feeling frayed. And you'll have days that are wonderful and days that are difficult. I was asked uh, earlier today, what, what has it been like for you? Has, the, has it been fun having the kids home? And it's kind of both, in a sense. Mm -hmm. uh, something wonderful yesterday, I got to do uh, a jog with my children. I mean, they left me in the dust, but uh, it was a wonderful experience because usually I'm dropping them at netball or soccer or something or watching yeah. and I was participating and it was wonderful. But then Sunday last week wasn't so wonderful. It, yeah. was, a, it was not a great day in our ha home. Everybody was frayed and, and irritable. So days are going to look different. Yeah. I think also you might see a ramp up in sibling issues on some days. Mm. It's it's a recipe for that on some days. So separating siblings, letting them have different activities that they do, particularly depending on your personality types in yeah. your home. So going sibling... from the lounge room, one in the lounge room, <laughs> one in the kitchen. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. because for, for your extroverted child, they're craving people, but for your introverted child, right. they are needing downtime and building Lego in their room or reading in their room alone is what they need. So it's kind of being a new kind of creative, I think, as parents with your children. Yeah. I think also we, we're working on new uh, conflict resolution now because we're having this, this time or this opportunity to work on conflict in our homes. So yeah. that's different. Uh, modelling kindness, modelling conversations, but planning fun as well. Mm -hmm. You know, there are times we're doing homeschooling or online learning with our kids, but plan times when there's fun. Plan times when there's... Being intentional about it. Yeah, yeah, when there's just family board games or, or family activities outside. That's old school. Yeah, taking yeah. it old school. Yeah, yeah doing yeah. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And also, again, I always say allowing for some... A little little bit more online time for our children, not in terms of you don't care about the content. Little children and young teens, technology still out of bedrooms, but letting them connect with their friends yeah. because they need that. My extroverted son, who's, who's 12, is missing his friends desperately. Mm. And so giving him opportunities on gaming to connect. So parenting is going to look different. Yeah. Uh, be kind to yourself, parents. Uh, you're in this too. Yeah, and we can do it. We will get through this. We will. So thank you so much, Colette, for those tips. Look, don't forget, stay safe, stay sane, and more importantly, stay kind.